Well, hello everybody, Laura Trotty here and thank you so much for joining me on this webinar tonight where I'll lift the lid on eucalyptus oil and show you how you can get the very best from this natural product when cleaning your home. Now, before we get started though, I just wanna check that everything is working okay. So if you could please type in the text box on the right of your screen, if you can hear me, that would be great. Thank you. Now you're in for a real treat right now as I plan to share some of my best secrets of using eucalyptus oil to detox and simplify your cleaning. Now some of these tips you may have heard me go on about before but others will be completely new to you. And regardless, I know you're going to love it. And I'm sure you'll have several friends that'll love it too. So in the text box, I've pasted the link to this webinar. I'd love it if you could take a moment to share it on your Facebook or Twitter profile right now and tell your friends that you're here with me and they're all invited too. Okay, now I'm just, just checking that people can hear me. That's great. Well, wow, great to see all those messages coming in. So I've got a test screen I'm hooked up and it's not quite showing the picture. Can you all see the picture as well? Just seeing my slides, you can all hear me. Yeah, I just want to see if someone can just write that they can see the slides as well because I've got a test screen, but it's not showing the slides. Ah, showing the slides, I can see that now. Great. So yeah, if just someone can just, just um, confirm that you can hear the slides, that would be really good. See the slides, sorry. Okay, so I just want to go through a little bit of housekeeping before we start too. So the text box that you've all just been typing in, um, yeah, someone's got so you can blurry, a little blurry but all good. Okay. Holding picture. Still waiting for some people, some people's screens are just waiting to, to load it up. Okay, if I do that, is it any different? Is that a bit better now? Okay, the left hand side is cut off. Yeah, I've got that too on mine. I wonder why that is. I think that's a little bit better now, is it? Sorry, I'm just playing around. Um, is that better? No. Sorry, I'm just playing around a little bit with the screen. I'm not too sure why, why it's cutting off that little left bit from some of you. It's, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> sometimes this technology just has a mind of its own. And um, while I just talk a little bit about housekeeping now, I just want to also let you know I'm broadcasting from Outback South Australia where I live and the NBN hasn't reached us yet and it won't for another few years. So if for some reason my modem cuts out, hang in the line um, in this um, webinar jam, you know, this Google Hangout, if I, for some reason, get booted out, you all stay there so I can come back in in, you know, three minutes or so and you'll all be there. So that's fine. And I don't know, maybe the little blurry picture that you can see might be because of my internet line. It's usually fine, though. Um, and some people have got no sound. So I, can, I know that the sound's definitely coming through. Okay. All right, so maybe all just check up, test up, your, turn up your microphones and adjust your screen to get the best possible. And um, yeah, let's get started. I hope it's um, yeah, Joanne, log log out and come back in again. Okay. So all right, I will um, you can type some questions in as you go. Although I will open up questions towards the end of the webinar, so it might be actually best if you can hold most of them until then. Alrighty, so getting started on the webinar, what I'll be covering. Firstly, I'll give an introduction to eucalyptus essential oil, and I'll tell you why I think it should be in your home detox toolkit. Secondly, I'll share some safety precautions to adhere to when using eucalyptus essential oil. I'll share my best secrets for cleaning with eucalyptus essential oil, and there's a couple in there that um, I haven't shared before, so that should be pretty exciting for some of you. I'll then announce a special offer for those of you who really want to fast track your journey to a chemical free home, plus your chance to receive a free gift if you're attending this webinar live tonight. And lastly, I will answer any questions that you have about using 
essential oils in your home cleaning routine and particularly eucalyptus essential oil. Okay, so Amy's just written she had no sound on her iPad but can now on her desktop can hear you fine. That's great. All right, so I'll continue. All right, I apologize for those of you who have been following me for quite a while and if you've also done the recent home detox video series because some of this you will be familiar with, um, with about my background. But just before we dive in, I do want to introduce myself to those of you who don't know me because you might be thinking, what does this girl know about, I guess, essential oils and chemistry? What do I know about cleaning, running a household, blah, blah, blah. And basically, what do I know about all this? Well, I do want to ease your mind with that and tell you just a little bit about my background and my story. So I started studying environmental engineering 20 years ago this year and I commenced my career working at a very large zinc smelter in Tasmania. It was about five kilometres out of the CBD of Hobart, so we had some really stringent environmental conditions on us. And I was responsible for monitoring the impact of the 100-year-old smelter's activities on the environment and the surrounding community. I learned an awful lot about chemicals in this job and how they impacted not only the environment but on people's health as well. After a year working at the smelter, I transferred to a brand new zinc and lead mine in remote northwest Queensland where I worked for four years alongside Indigenous Australians to ensure that the operation, the 300 kilometre slurry pipeline and the port and shipping operations operated well within their environmental obligations and they had something like 18 environmental licenses it was we were doing so much reporting and it was during this time that I started studying my master's of science degree in environmental chemistry and I specialized in the way that waste rock from the mine was breaking down and impacting local surface and groundwater quality during this time I was working excessive hours on a long fly and fly out roster and I was suffering from chronic migraines so to improve myself, my health, I started to eat clean and organic foods. I switched to a vegetarian diet. I gave up Diet Coke. Yes, I know. Terrible shame on me. And I replaced chemicals in my home and actually my donger, which was because I was living in a donger at the mine site, with safe and natural alternatives. And I was desperate and I would do anything to get rid of the mi migraines that were dominating my, um, my days off, but also starting to creep in on my work days as well. I managed to reduce my migraine frequency from at least weekly to something more like annually and I reclaimed my quality of life. So 10 years ago I left Queensland to join my future husband in Outback South Australia and I accepted a senior environmental engineering role at the very large Olympic Dam mine and processing plant and I worked here for five years. I completed my Masters of Science thesis and I volunteered as a home sustainability order in, auditor in my local community. And it was in this volunteer capacity where I developed a real passion for helping everyday people with no environmental background to live more sustainably. Around about this time, I married my husband and we started trying for a family. Now, we were both working very long hours in the minerals industry at what was now the largest industrial site in Australia. And despite our clean diet and healthy home, conceiving didn't come easy to us. And when it finally came after a few setbacks, I found it extremely difficult working at an industrial site when most of the processing areas were off limits to pregnant women for safety reasons. So you think of me, I'm a female engineer on a mine site and I've got all these projects and I actually can't go out and see the areas that I'm improving and monitoring. It was really frustrating. And also between you and me working as a female engineer in a male dominated environment was very, very tough. Um, while I could work as long and hard as my colleagues before, it was a very different story now that I had a much longed for baby growing inside me and I was also very exhausted and having to contend with morning sickness and everything else like that while working. I'm sure many of you have been in similar situations. So over the years, I'd removed and replaced all commercial cleaning products in our home with natural alternatives, but for some reason, I was still hanging on to, on to bleach to clean our shower. You know, goodness knows why, but I just hadn't broken up with it yet. And one day when pregnant, I remember being so overcome with fumes while cleaning the shower, I had to stop before I fainted. This is, this is serious. I had a raging headache and I needed time out. And this wasn't the only headache of my pregnancy. Like sadly, my migraines were slowly returning, possibly hormone or stress induced. And I was miserable. My whole identity was changing and life just felt out of control. I realized pretty quickly I didn't want to go back to, you know, the corporate mining world after my baby was born. And I just wanted to look after my baby and make a difference. Um, I, knew, I knew I wanted to work still, 
Um, but yeah, full-time options only in the mining industry just didn't go with me. I wanted to look after my baby, work around my baby and make a difference, you know, helping other people be more sustainably. So after five and a half years now, so while 28, pregnant, 28 weeks pregnant with my first baby, I registered my now multi-award winning business, Sustain a Baby, and I started working to create an online eco-parenting resource and business where I could share my passion for eco-living with other parents while caring for my young family. I also banished bleach from my home for good and fully embraced essential oils in my home. And I even signed on as a distributor for an essential oil company. So before this time, I'd only really used peppermint oil to help with my migraines and some lavender for relaxations. But I quickly learned how to use essential oils for all different purposes in my home. And eucalyptus oil was actually obviously one of them, one of the ones that I really loved using. And it's, you know, it's just become essential, pardon the pun there, but it is essential in our home detox toolkit. I can also happily tell you that today my life is no longer dominated by my migraines. Our home has been free of synthetic chemicals for years now. And with the help of essential oils, I've not only improved the health of our family, but helped us break out break up with those last couple of nasty chemical products such as bleach and some pest control items for good. So in addition to managing Sustain a Baby, I'll also be launching my new Eco Living website and my new home, um, which is lauratrotter.com later this year. And I have two established Eco Living e-courses, the Greenhouse Home Energy Blitz and the Home Detox Boot Camp. So to say the very least, these days I pretty much eat, breathe and sleep eco-parenting and eco-living and I love it. Now here are just some of the places I've either blogged or been featured. In addition to being a regular eco-parenting columnist for My Child and Nurture Parenting magazines, you can see I've been all over the web talking about eco-parenting or eco-living. I'm also on ABC Radio 639 North and West South Australia every Monday with my Eco Living segment. So I did that this morning. We're talking cloth nappies today, one of my favourite topics. Okay, so now to say the least, I'm truly obsessed with all things eco and that's why I'm so excited to share some of my best secrets on eucalyptus essential oil that you can apply to your home to ensure that it's healthy, safe and eco-friendly place to bring up your children. And these are strategies that I use in my own home and they work. Okay, so before I start talking about eucalyptus essential oil, I'd love to find a little bit more about you. And I'd love to know if you currently use eucalyptus oil in your home and how you use it. So please type in the chat box. I'm interested in particular to hear when you started using eucalyptus essential oil. Has it just been recently or has it been something that you've used for a long time? Is using essential oils, um, I guess, obviously a new concept for you? And what's your favourite application for eucalyptus oil? Yeah, so just feel free to share and I'll check in on your responses after the next slide. Okay, so many of you will know that eucalyptus oil is one of my all-time favourite essential oils. Maybe because it's native to Australia and the smell automatically takes me back to my childhood family holidays in the Victorian high country, but I, I seriously can't get enough of it. It's made by distilling the leaves of eucalyptus trees, eucalyptus radiata. It's an excellent natural disinfectant, an antibacterial cleanser and deodorizer, and it can be used to clean every room in the house. It's really versatile. Okay, so now I'm just going to check in and see if you're already using eucalyptus essential oil and where when you started. Okay, no, Kate, no, no eucalyptus oil here. So we've got a new one. Lauren hasn't used it before either. Hallie, three years ago, spray and wipe. Cassia, sorry, these are coming in fast. Floor cleaning and laundry, awesome. Cara, yes, thank you to my toilets. Oh, they're coming in really fast. I can't keep up. Belinda in the vaporizer for kids' coughs for the last 10 plus years. Good one there. Sorry, I'm just going to have to play around here. I haven't, Amy hasn't used it, but purchased it and ready to start. Good for you. Joanne's just used it in a homemade vapor rub. Oh, that sounds, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it looks like Kate's using it to clear the nose. So some therapeutic benefits there as well. Sonia, topical on skin. Kristen's all new to me. Haven't started using it yet. Donna. Making your own cough, cold balm, amongst other things. Awesome. Steam mop cloth with Cara. 
a little while on yep on a bench as lauren so it sounds like you're using as a disinfectant we've got george here yes for years good with tea tree oil for getting rid of nits yes definitely and cleaning breathing in colds and flus and we use it in our hand wash yum new to philippa and lauren toilets and floors as well yep we're going to cover some of these tonight so that's great sounds like we've got some people that it's new so um tonight you are learning some new concepts which is which is always exciting and um there's also it's good to hear that some of you are already embracing it as well okay and um, i guess someone's i can't remember let's have a quick look whoever said they're using it for knits um similar to tea tree yeah there are some similar um, applications for tea tree oil and eucalyptus oil and sometimes i do use them a little bit interchangeably it's um it's kind of like i drink a lot of herbal tea but the tea i drink depends on my mood sometimes the the essential oil i choose to clean with also depends on my mood so if i talk tonight about mopping my floors and using eucalyptus oil sometimes i use lemon oil and sometimes i might use tea tree oil it just you know i'm a gemini <laughs> i've got different personalities i guess but yeah um sometimes um tea tree is quite similar to eucalyptus and they're both australian have that lovely smell okie dokie so which brings me up to the next slide which is why it should be in your toolkit okay so first of all eucalyptus oil is versatile as mentioned i i do use eucalyptus oil in the toilet laundry and in some general household cleaning tasks like mopping the floor and i guess back to all the comments of where you are all using it in different applications from topical therapeutic ones for your health as to cleaning as well you can see that it is a very versatile oil it's also very gentle so despite its strong ability to clean eucalyptus oil you know it's suitable for almost all household surfaces including bench tops sinks tiles porcelain mirrors glass hard surface floors and carpet which is great it's also non-toxic for drains so unlike most standard household cleaners it it is eucalyptus oil is non-toxic and it's an environmentally friendly way to clean it's quite biodegradable so it can just you can use it in the toilet knowing that it's yeah not causing havoc downstream it invigorates the senses so it may surprise you given i chat so much about green cleaning but i i really actually can't stand cleaning but actually that was before i started using essential oils in my cleaning routine so eucalyptus essential oil is is known to invigorate the senses and reduce mental fatigue so if you use it when cleaning you'll most likely feel energized afterwards not tired and worn out and lemon oil is another good one like that you know lemon oil really lifts the mood and you know and gives you a lot of mental clarity so yeah i find using these oils in my in my cleaning just helps make cleaning that little bit more bearable okay next slide so it's so good to hear that many of you have embraced eucalyptus essential oil already in your homes that's a really good start now i'd like to cover some safety precautions just for using eucalyptus essential oil all right so if you're new to essential oils you may be of the mindset that because they're naturally derived they're totally safe so i'm just looking in the chat box um, a couple of people having issues viewing the slide in full it's blurry yeah i really don't know what's going on there um i'm not too sure it's everything's looking fine my end and i've run a few of these webinars now so i'm not too sure what has changed so yeah i'm really sorry but i just hope you can hear me if okay so belinda's just telling others to refresh so other people if you refresh your screen it should look better that would be good because i'm sorry i'm not too sure what i can do at this end to help at this stage oh jane's done a refresh but you can all hear me okay so at least if you're hearing you know, i'm not really mentioning two the slides are just a brief summary of what i'm mentioning um yeah i apologize for that anyway i do want to hmm, half the slides cut off okay so i'm just trying if, do, if i've just minimized the screen and if i put it back up again i don't know if that changes anything sorry i'm just gonna do a very quick play around with my controls i can see that that it is blurry i'm on my test screen it's blurry too i'm i'm really sorry there i'm not too sure 
Mm. Sorry, I'm just playing around a little bit. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll just continue. I've, I've just refreshed on my test screen and it's still a bit blurry for me too, but on my other screens here it's all fine. So I'm really not too sure. So, yeah, I will try and find out for my next webinar, but as long as, long as you can just listen in and, and um, still get the information. Okay, so back to safety precautions. Yeah, so if you're new to essential oils, you may be of the mindset that because they're naturally derived, they're totally safe. Um, unfortunately, this is this just isn't quite true. Okay, so um, I'm not too sure how to say it, but Paracelsus, the Swiss physician, had radical whose radical ideas influenced the development of medicine, wrote in about 1530 that all things are poisons, it's only the dose which makes a thing a poison. So even water and salt, which are normally harmless, may cause illness or death if taken in excess. So I just want you to bear in mind that essential oils are highly concentrated liquids and for this reason, the same precautions you take when using commercial cleaning products in your home should also be applied to some, some essential oils, including eucalyptus. So basically this means keeping your oils in a locked cupboard out of reach of children. Eucalyptus oil is actually very toxic when taken orally, like obviously, in, you know, if you're going to drink the bottle, I'm sure you're not going to do it, but I just wanted to let you know. So if you want to avoid any likelihood of little hands getting on the bottle and having a swig, definitely keep it out of reach of children. There hasn't been heaps of research into eucalyptus oil and pregnancy. So just in the absence of research, it's just best to err on the side of caution and avoid some direct contact with your skin and definitely don't take it orally if you're pregnant. Now don't be alarmed, I'm talking about using the oil neat and getting it all over your skin. It's very unlikely that this would happen as you'd just be using a drop here or there in your cleaning and not getting it directly on your body. And of course you wouldn't do that if you were using chlorine bleach either, but for thoroughness I just want to include it here. Because eucalyptus oil is flammable, keep it away from flames and sparks. And also, there's, there's also some conflict information out there on essential oils and toxicity with pets, and especially cats. And eucalyptus oil is one of those ones that I guess falls into that category a little bit. So the skin of animals is really much more sensitive than that of humans, and so essential oils should be used with caution around animals. So don't apply directly to the skin of cats. Cats also don't have the liver enzymes to break down chemicals as effectively as, as humans, and they therefore tend to store toxins in their liver okay so just bear in mind if you're switching from commercial cleaning products to greener methods including essential oils your home will obviously be a much safer haven for yourself and your pets but just bear in mind to keep an eye on your pets as you introduce new oils and be sure to seek advice if unsure Okay, so and the last safety precaution is to use therapeutic grade oils that don't contain synthetic fillers and haven't been altered in any way. Now, as again, it's not my intention to scare you with these precautions. Rather, I just want you to be aware that even if something is naturally derived, you still need to exercise caution and use common sense. Now, it's so good to hear that many of you have embraced essential oils already in your homes. That's a really good start. And um, now I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail and cover my best secrets for cleaning with eucalyptus essential oil. Okay, some of you are already using it in your toilet and that's great. And But also a relatively unknown use for eucalyptus essential oil is in just some general tasks in cleaning your bathroom. It's very effective on shower screens and mirrors. You can make up a simple, I guess, just a eucalyptus oil spray with a few drops of pure oil and some water in a glass bottle preferably and you can um, spritz a fine mist of eucalyptus oil spray onto the surface and wipe it off with a clean cloth. Many of you will already know that my favourite application for eucalyptus oil is to clean and disinfect the toilet. And I do this by placing a few drops of pure essential oil in the toilet bowl and I scrub it with a toilet brush. And I wipe the toilet seat and door handle clean just using, um, I guess, a damp cloth with a couple of drops of pure 
um, essential oil, eucalyptus oil as well. You can also use it as a natural air freshener. Again, just with that spray that you've made in the glass bottle with a couple of drops of eucalyptus oil, um, you can just spritz it around the room that needs refreshing. Okay, I'm just looking over to a, a question. Jane's asked if Thursday Plantation brand considered therapeutic grade. I'm not too sure, Jane. I haven't actually heard of that brand, but I'm sure if you contacted them, they would tell you. Um, most brands that are therapeutic grade will actually market that way because it's in their best interest to market that way. So even if you checked on their website, I'm pretty sure it might um, tell you that there as well. Okay, so we'll move on to the laundry. Eucalyptus essential oil is a handy item to have in your stain removal kit. You can spot treat with a eucalyptus oil spray, apply it neat or apply it onto a damp cloth and rub it into the stain from the outside in. Just do a patch test before applying. It's particularly good on soluble grease, some grass marks, if for some reason you've got some chewing gum on some clothing or ballpoint ink as well. Eucalyptus oil is also an essential ingredient in my homemade wool detergent that I use. I guess just like it was in the original Martha Gardner's wool mix. It's gentle and leaves my woolen smelling divine. All right, to the bedroom. I guess a lot of people don't think of using eucalyptus oil in the bedroom, but you can. And because it's a natural disinfectant and pest deterrent, it's also handy for a few applications in this space. So again, using that just eucalyptus oil spray you've, you've made before, you can use it as a natural air freshener. You can also just spray a fine mist on your mattress and pillows every time you change your sheets. And the oil will clean the area and also act as a deterrent for dust mites. If your wardrobe is musty and damp, you can wipe the walls down with hot soapy water with eucalyptus oil added and rinse it with some clean water and dry thoroughly as well. To deter moths and silverfish, spray or wipe drawer liners or wardrobe walls with eucalyptus oil spray. And you can also place a drop of oil on a padded coat hanger to act as a deterrent. So Cara asked where I get my glass spray bottles from. I buy them from a wholesaler called um, New Directions. I know they also do, they also sell direct to the public, but the shipping prices are quite high there. But I know there's a lot of eBay sellers that sell glass bottles as well and it's also possible to upcycle, you know, like the Perrier um, mineral water bottles and things like that. You can get some nozzles as long as you measure the dimensions on the top. You can get nozzles that fit, spray triggers that fit on top of those as well. Okay, so some other general uses. Sorry, that was covering, I think I, I did cover all the bedroom there. Yep. So... Back into just some general uses here. You can add several drops of eucalyptus oil to your water when mopping the floors to clean and disinfect. It can be used on wood, wood floors, lino, tiles and most other floor surfaces as well. Scuff marks can also be easily removed with eucalyptus oil. And if you don't use a wet mop, so if you use a fabric mop such as, such as Enyo, um, I also, I have an Enyo mop and I do love it. And I also mop the floors with that with some oil. Again, this depends on my mood, but I, I can just put one or two drops of eucalyptus oil on the mop and that helps disinfect and it leaves your home smelling like an Australian forest. You can also easily um, spot treat stains on carpets using eucalyptus oils. Um, sorry, I'm tripping over my tongue. So you can just spray, use your spray onto the carpet and wipe it off with a cloth or just with a damp cloth and put a couple of drops of pure oil on that and rub it into the stain. Just make sure you spot treat it first to make sure your carpet's okay with, with the oil. Another one for mums of kids that loves putting stickers everywhere. Um, yeah, it's great for removing um, adhesive labels from articles without damaging um, the surface. So again, just with a, cloth, a wet cloth, just put some pure eucalyptus oil on that and wipe, wipe off the stickers and the, the gum behind it. Chewing gum, as mentioned before, chewing gum in hair. You can just surround the gum with a wet cloth with eucalyptus oil and gently slide the gum out without the need for cutting. Great for mums of girls or boys with long hair. And if you have some smelly shoes, you can just put some cotton wool ball um, and just put some eucalyptus oil on that and pop them into your in your toe of your shoes to prevent odours. And artists, 
using you can restore your oil paint brushes by soaking in eucalyptus oil and i've done that several times and it yeah they just the oil just comes off very easily there the paint sorry okay so there's some of my best secrets for how i use eucalyptus essential oil in my home i hope there was a couple of new ones there that you hadn't used before and that you can go and and try them out so i wish i could tell you a bit more but i don't want to keep you here all night i can yeah, just talk about this for for hours i guess but what i want to ask you now is a really important question i guess i want you just again type into the chat box what how would you like your home to be what's what's the vision of your home what do you want it to be known for so i guess what do you want your friends to think when they come around to your house how do you want to feel when you walk through the doors of your home after being away all day would you like it to be quiet or clean smell nice fresh uncluttered a peaceful place now what would it be like if you could create this with ease like how would you feel then so after tonight's webinar can you see that eucalyptus oil or even essential oils in general support this vision for your home if so it's time to step up your home detox and i'd like to tell you about a very special program i've created that will help you achieve your chemical free home okay just checking the chat box again no one's popped their visions in there yet but ah uh, here they come so kate likes a tip about paintbrushes how are you fresh clean and inviting yeah i'd like i like that too clean and fresh relaxing philippa sounds like you need some <laughs> lavender oil is great for that one too clean and tidy fresh not stuffy yeah i like not stuffy too some get open the windows get some nice breeze or diffuse some nice oils in the home too okay so now that we all know ah cara like her garden organic good one and healthy uncluttered fresh and peaceful for lauren cool i'll check back in later and have a look to see if anyone else has written anything so we all know that our homes our very own living environment is not the right place for toxic chemicals and yet there are so many new products all the time that promise the world, yet they don't tick the boxes for our own health and that of the environment. And in fact, many of these products haven't even been tested on humans. And that's why I created the Home Detox Bootcamp. So this program is the ultimate course for you to remove toxic chemicals from your home and create the chemical free, you know, a fresh, clean, relaxed space, living space that you desire and deserve. The Home Detox Bootcamp is truly unique and I know you're going to love it because everyone that's gone through the course so far has and it's so much better now than when I ran it last six, you know, six months ago. Now in this program, I teach you how to reduce the toxicity of your home, be it breaking up with chemicals in your bathroom, laundry, kitchen, beauty cabinet or even pest control or even improving your indoor air quality or reducing electromagnetic fields. You'll then learn how to replace products or the way you're currently doing things with safe, effective and natural alternatives. And I always try and include one or two or sometimes even three different alternatives because some alternatives suit different people. So it's so important to realise that it's not just about simply replacing your existing chemical products with commercial eco products and then having a household of, you know, I guess off the shelf eco cleaning products, for example. Instead, I'll show you how you can use a small range of readily available, fairly cheap and natural products to tackle everyday cleaning tasks in your home. So inside the Home Detox Bootcamp, there's a big focus on quality content. I'm not just going to make and push heaps and heaps of info on you if, if it's not of good quality and researched and, um, I guess, proven. Every module contains a video, some recorded training slides, a workbook and recipe guides, plus you get access to your very own network of like-minded people and myself, plus some course contributors as well, in our closed Facebook Home Detox community. So basically I give you the information you need to effectively remove chemicals from your home and the support to make it happen. Now let me tell you a little bit more about the program and what you can expect each week. So in module one, I provide an overview of chemicals found in our homes. I take you through the health and environmental impact of common chemicals and I list some natural alternatives to these. I even cover a bit of history about chemicals and how and when our dependence on them in our homes started. 
Okay, module two, Laundry Love, I take you through the chemistry of washing clothes. We look at how soaps and detergents work, including the importance of surfactants, the role of enzymes and builders in commercial detergents, and alternatives to commercial laundry detergents. You'll be making your own laundry powder or liquid if you prefer, your wool mix, um, fabric softeners, stain soakers, and stain removal sprays as well. In module three's Kitchen Blitz, we cover germs in the kitchen, where and how they are found and how best to deter them. We'll also take a look at our love affair with plastics and how they're impacting our health and that of our environment. You'll be making, you know, a lot of other things in the kitchen, such as your dishwasher powders and dishwashing liquids. You know, you'll be cleaning your oven, cleaning your kitchen appliances, all with natural alternatives to commercial cleaning products. Plus, you'll be taking a heap of steps towards breaking up with plastics in your kitchen. And our guest contributor and naturopath, Jessica Donovan, will be running a masterclass on steps you can take to improve your health and well-being naturally. And we also have another new contributor that's just joined us, and I will pop this back at the um, towards the end of the webinar who um, that and that's oh, I'll cover that a bit but that's more about just a bonus masterclass in reducing additives in food in module four sorry just wait one minute in module four we'll be taming your bathroom and toilet We'll be looking at problem areas and we'll cover natural alternatives for mold removers and cleaning your shower, bath and window cleaners, even how to clean your shower head and remove lime scale naturally. In module five, general home cleaning sorted, I'll guide you how to detox some of the general household cleaning jobs around your home. This is quite a meaty module and we focus on improving your indoor air quality and cleaning your windows, floors and walls as a start. In this module, we'll also cover a poorly understood area of contamination in our homes, which is that from Wi-Fi's and electronics. And we'll take a close look at how these are impacting our health and what steps you can take to minimise your exposure in a bonus masterclass by healthy home expert and best-selling author, Nicole Bilschma. All right, in module six, we'll review the toxicity of commercial pest control products. And we'll cover natural alternatives to deter moths, ants, silverfish and spiders and more. And you'll make your own personal insect repellent. In module seven, we're going to pop into your beauty cabinet because basically a home detox just wouldn't be complete without taking a look at what we feed our skin day in, day out. Um, basically, I've just got a saying that you're not, we are what we eat, but we're actually a lot more than that. We are what we eat, what we breathe, what, you know, the environment where we live, what we put on our skin, what we put on our hair as well. Our skin is our largest organ and it readily absorbs the chemicals we feed it. So in this module, you'll learn natural alternatives for products such as shampoos and conditioners, and you'll have the opportunity to make many personal hair uh, care products, including your own body wash. And you'll also have another bonus masterclass by natural beauty therapist, Jodie Ducurado. In module eight, the final module of the Home Detox Boot Camp, we're really going to talk about how you can live chemical free, you know, ongoing after the boot camp's finished. Because a chemical free home requires an ongoing commitment. I'll also be guiding you through the safe and correct disposal of chemicals that you no longer need. And I'll share my tips on how to manage a temptation to return to old habits and how to keep partners, friends and other family members aligned to your vision for a home without toxic chemicals. All right, so just powering right along, not too much longer to go. It wouldn't be a fantastic program if I didn't include some really good bonuses. So first you get lifetime access to the program. So once you invest in the Home Detox Bootcamp, it's yours for the lifetime of the course. Now what's really great about this is that it means that you will get free updates. I'll update the material each and every time the course is run, taking into account feedback as well as new research. And you of course will have access to that. And this includes new content and bonus masterclass by contribute bonus masterclasses by contributors, for example. You'll also have direct support in our very own closed Facebook community. So if you get stuck or have a question, we'll make sure you get all the support you need. 
And plus you'll get several additional bonuses such as my SOS stain guide, which is a lifesaver in the laundry, and my home detox recipe guide. So basically in the Home Detox membership site, you'll have access to the recipe index and you can search and print off all the recipes at your leisure. There'll also be fact sheets for all different products that I recommend, such as eucalyptus oil, for example, would have its own fact sheet in that. So you can print off and you get all the information on eucalyptus oil that you need. So at the end of the course, you'll also have a, a, just a ha handy recipe booklet all in one as well. So as I mentioned, there is a new membership site for this course. So you, if you do join, you'd get your, your username and your unique password and you can just log in and um, go through, obviously go through week by week, but you've got lifetime access. So if you know something happened in your life and you missed a week or whatever, you're not going to fall behind. You can al always get access to that material. Alrighty, but that's not all. Not only will you have access to me during the Home Detox Bootcamp, and this is actually the only opportunity that I'm giving for people to work one-on-one -on -one with me at the moment, but, the, but for the very first time, I'm joined by a group of highly acclaimed contributors who will be sharing their knowledge and will make themselves available at set times during the course for you to ask direct questions. So we've got Dr. Natasha Andriadis. She's a fertility specialist, gynecologist, and a certified reproductive endocrinologist. Basically, that means she specializes in making healthy babies. She's also very passionate about um, what's, I guess, a new area of medicine, environmental medicine and, nut and nutrition. So in an inclusive, exclusive interview for Home Detox Bootcamp participants, she'll share her thoughts and theories on how a home detox can boost your fertility. She's also our resident doctor in the forum, so she'll be available at designated times throughout the course just to answer specific environmental medicine questions. As I mentioned, Jessica Donovan, she's a respected naturopath and a women's holistic health expert. She's passionate about guiding, inspiring and empowering women to take charge of their well-being. So she'll be running a masterclass on where she'll guide um, participants through some steps you can take in the food preparation and storage to reduce your chemical exposure and just boosting your well-being naturally in the home. Okay, Jodie Del Corrado is a beauty therapist, mother of three and the creator behind Jolly Natural Skin Care. As an expert in natural skin care solutions for different skin types, she'll share some of her best recipes and tricks of the trade to help you detox your beauty cabinet. And in an exclusive masterclass, she'll also discuss the many chemicals that can be found in skin care and their side effects and point you in the direction of high performing natural alternatives. We've also got Nicole Bilgema as a healthy home expert. She's a best-selling author of Healthy Home, Healthy Family and founder of the Australian College of Environmental Studies. She'll be running an exclusive masterclass for participants on electromagnetic radiation, a little, under, you know, a poorly understood area generally, but she'll be providing heaps of tips on what you can do in your home to reduce your exposure to electromagnetic radiation. And we'll also have Bill Statham, He's a very well-known health researcher and the best-selling author of The Chemical Maze, and he'll be sharing some tips on how you can reduce your intake of food additives. We're very lucky to have him join this round of the boot, boot camp. Now, if your screen is still basically um, a bit blurry, you may not be able to read this, but this is just some testimonials. Um, one at the top, there's Amanda McLeod. She's absolutely loved the course and she's recommended it to anyone who's wanting to listen. She used to think her home wasn't clean unless she could smell bleach and now she doesn't think it's clean unless she can smell eucalyptus. She said the boot camp's practical and the changes once implemented are very easy to adhere to. Once you've embraced the home detox way of cleaning, you'll never look back. We've also got Didi Striebel. She's a land care officer and mother and she said she's always been very interested in sustainable living and lowering her chemical exposure. So when she saw an article about the Home Detox Boot Camp, she signed up right away. The course is very informative and the chemical-free options are practical and effective. The closed Facebook community is lovely and supportive and Laura responded to all her questions within a few hours and she hopes more people join to help restore our health and environment. Okay, so I want to ask you what should this program cost? Because out of all the people that have followed me for quite some time, I pulled them to ask this exact question and said, what would you pay for this program? And so many of them said in the high 400s, they said that's a good price for all the content that's included. I guess your experience in education. 
and getting the contributors as well and also the new membership site. They said this program literally shows us how to create a healthy home and that really is invaluable to us. So, but what I wanted to do is that I wanted to make it sure that it was available to anyone that really wanted to dive in. So I decided to charge $349 for this course. So that's $349 for lifetime access in the new custom built membership site and closed Facebook community, where you'll also have access to people that have gone through the course before that will also provide support and access to all the modules, workbooks, videos, recorded training slides, recipes, bonuses, e bonus e-guides, contributors, and me. But the really cool thing is I wanted to make it a no-brainer for you to sign up and get the eco-friendly healthy home you deserve. So for a limited time, I am offering the Home Detox Bootcamp at the very low early bird special of $229. Now I appreciate this may also be a stretch for some, so there is a payment plan available. Uh, if you put, you know, available for people if you want to purchase at the early bird and also at the normal price. So if you join under the payment plan in the early bird stage, you'll make three payments of $89, a deposit of $89 and then two monthly payments of $89. So that the $229 is the early bird special and it actually ends at 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this evening. So if you do want to jump in at that, at that low introductory rate, um, you will need to jump on board very soon in the next hour and grab that. Sorry, probably next 45 minutes actually. Okay, so just what a couple of more testimonials. Uh, Belinda Doyle, um, she's an occupational therapist and a mother of two. She said the Home Detox Boot Camp finally helped us get rid of chemicals in our home for good. We'd tried to go chemical free several times before, but there's so much information out there from so many unqualified sources that it's difficult to know who to trust and where to turn to for the right advice. My two kids want to be involved in all our day-to-day -day activities. I love being able to have them involved in household chores now without the worry of exposure to toxins. Thanks for taking the hard work out of going chemical free for me. And another one was Bernadette Burton. She's also a mother of, of four and as a customer service specialist, she said this is a course created by someone with extensive chemical knowledge and experience. Well done, Laura, on creating an ecoceptional course that can be easily followed and maintained by those at home. So to those who are sitting on the fence and are unsure whether to sign up, I say go for it. It's definitely worth every cent. Take advantage of the fact that someone has done all the research and created easy to follow recipes. Thanks, Bernadette. All right, now here's the deal. If you're keen to work with me further and jump on board the Home Detox Bootcamp, you'll need to go to www.homedetoxbootcamp.com to register. I also have a very special bonus for those of you on the webinar live right now. The first three people who join the Home Detox Bootcamp in the next, basically before the end of early bird. So what did I say you've got? Sorry, I'm just doing the time calculation because it's 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and I'm on Central Standard Time, so which is 9.30 my time. So you've got 40 minutes to join still at $229 before it goes up to $349. So the first three people join who are also live on this webinar will receive a free Young Living Therapeutic Grade Eucalyptus Oil in the mail um, sometime next week as a special welcome gift from me. So this oil is valued at $32 and it's a purest grade eucalyptus essential oil available. So that's for the first three people who join up live on the call right now. So you can start, you, you know, doing all the tips that we've talked about in the webinar tonight with your free oil. Almost done. Now here's just a great thing about Home Detox. If you're a little bit uncertain about investing, I just wanted to let you know when you do invest, you've got my personal 21 days money back guarantee. That starts from when the course starts, which is on May the 27th meaning you can try out the course and if you're not loving it, you can get your money back, no questions asked. The only, I guess, a fine print of that is that some of the, um, obviously you, don't, you get access to the first three modules in the 21 days, but some of the um, the recipe guide and the fact sheets, all of those won't, won't be available until week four. So you might be asking, okay, Laura, who's this training actually for? So. If you're concerned about your children's exposure to chemicals in your home or you're worried about your exposure to chemicals in your home, particularly if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, 
this course is a perfect fit for you. Maybe your children have eczema, asthma, dermatitis or even ASD and you'd love to reduce the chemical load on their bodies, then this course is also a no-brainer for you. Perhaps you'd like to reduce your family's waste and reduce your grocery bill or you'd like to reclaim some cupboard space and reduce the number of commercial cleaning products in your home. This course will certainly help you achieve that as well. Or maybe you're a health or environmental professional like me and you're all over the why you should do this. You just haven't gotten around to figuring out the how and you just want someone credible to tell you what to do so you can finally walk the talk on a healthy eco home. Well, you're in the right place and you'll meet some other people in the Facebook group in that boat as well. If you're willing to learn about natural alternatives to commercial cleaning products and are positive, open and prepared to invest a little bit of extra time up front during the transition from chemicals to homemade natural products, then the Home Detox Bootcamp is for you. Okay, just a couple more slides. As I said, each Home Detox Bootcamp module includes video training, slides, workbooks with activity sheets. You'll have lifetime access to these in the Home Detox Bootcamp membership site, which you'll have your own username and password so you can access these whenever you want after each module is released, of course. There is no behind, sorry, not no behind, sorry, there is no behind in the Home Detox Bootcamp. Okay, so once you invest, you'll receive an introductory email with your very first workbook that includes everything you need to know to get started. This round of the Home Detox Bootcamp starts in a couple of weeks' time on Wednesday the 27th of May and enrolments close at 10pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday the 25th of May. But as mentioned in um, 40 minutes' time, the, um, the early bird special will end. So don't wait until, you know, next time I run the course. Uh, I'm still not too sure where that is. It may be later this year or might be early next year. Don't wait for a chemical-free home. Get in now and you'll love how you can save loads of cash on commercial cleaning products, improve our environment and boost your family's health and your health at the same time. So last slide. Just what you get, just to sum it all up, the Home Detox Boot Camp contains eight action-focused training modules to guide you towards achieving a chemical-free home. You'll also be supported through a closed Facebook community by myself and by our other contributors and also by everyone else doing the course as well. And you'll have lifetime access to the content, free upgrades and also that this Facebook for well, as long as Facebook keeps having the forum, I guess, but you'll have support to, in free upgrades and free ac and ongoing access to the Home Detox membership site as well. You'll also receive your bonus SOS stain guide, your Home Detox recipe guide as well as having access to the Home Detox Recipe Index in the membership site and fact sheets as well. All right, so I look forward to helping you create your vision for a healthy chemical-free home really soon. And so now I'd just love to open, open up the, um, I guess, the webinar for any questions. So if you've got any questions at all on eucalyptus essential oil, essential oils in general, or even... Um, I guess a home detox, definitely obviously questions about the home detox boot camp, I'd love to answer them. So I haven't checked in the in the chat box for a little while, so I'm just going to come over and scroll down and see what questions I've missed. So Melissa says she's a little clumsy sometimes, just wondering if you could use aluminium spray bottles instead of glass. I understand that. <laughs> I have got a cricket playing husband who is very, very skillful on the cricket field but terribly clumsy in the kitchen. Um, yes, you can. I don't see any reason why you can't use aluminium. I probably would want to just double check that. I would still think it would be a lot better than plastic because some of the oils, particularly lemon and eucalyptus, can degrade plastic but I don't, I don't believe there'd be an impact with aluminium. But just saying that glass is obviously... A much more inert um, I guess bottle to use so you wouldn't really be having any reactions there as well so the glass ones are quite strong we haven't had any breakages yet but yeah I could see how they could break especially if you had tiles oh Jodie Lauren Joanne <laughs> you've all signed up so you didn't get the you didn't get the chance to get the eucalyptus oil tonight that was really just a bonus to get some you know see if people on the webinar would like but I'll be having some spot prizes in the in the fake in the 
as we go through the course as well, uh, I haven't really said announced it yet, but we'll be having some little prizes and a bit of fun in the support group. So there'll be some there as well. Yeah, 27th of May, can't come fun enough. Yes, I'm waiting for Christmas. I'm so glad to hear you. So excited, Melissa. Okay, Kristen asks, she was obviously on the first webinar and I did. Uh, there was some lemon oil offered there and that is coming. It's getting posted towards probably very early next week. Obviously, I had to do a bulk order and it's um it's still in transit, so it's coming to me end of this week, so it'll probably go out next week. So you will have it before the, before the course starts. Okay, are there any other questions? Any questions on eucalyptus specifically? Or was I, I mean, I, I covered quite a few uses, so. Hmm. Um, just scroll down, see if I did miss any other questions. So Lawrence just asked how I make the chest rub balm. I'm not too sure if anyone else has answered that one. Okay, Belinda, clean and fresh home, which is extremely hard to achieve with four boys, five if you include the 40-year-old kid. I totally understand. Although I have two boys. I don't have four. Well, I've got two boys plus one <laughs> um, older boy, my husband. But, yeah, I hear you, especially toilets. Oh, Chris, Kristen, cool, awesome. Yeah, you will get your lemon oil. Lawrence asked how you make the chest rub. I haven't actually made a chest rub. Oh, George's pop here, best use a high-grade stainless steel bottle. Yeah, definitely stainless is better than aluminium. Um, I was a bit concerned about there are some health, I guess, issues sometimes with using aluminium. So, uh, you know, just in a water bottle, I would always recommend drinking from a stainless steel water bottle than an aluminium water bottle. So, yeah, obviously, it would be the same. That's why I was saying glass is a lot more, is a lot more inert. So you wouldn't be having any reactions with the essential oil and glass. But yeah, aluminium, um, stainless steel is better than aluminium. You're right there, George. Hallie says, thanks, Laura. Recipes for hand wash. Definitely, Kate. That, that recipe is in the, um, per, what's what we're saying? It's the body care module towards the end. So where we're making our, um, yeah, we make a hand wash in that one. I've even lost the name of the module, but it's beautiful, you beautiful earth. I think it's module six or something. Okay, Kate, that's cool. Hope you've worked it out. You've still got half an hour or so, so that's good. Um, Lauren, homemade recipes on that, George. Well, George makes a point. You can jump online and, of course, you can find some homemade recipes, but every all the recipes that I provide in my Home Detox Boot Camp have been personally tested by me. Some of the recipes have also been made, made up by me using a lot of my chemistry knowledge as well. Okay, so if there's no more questions, um, I'll be there. Okay, so just looking, no more questions there. So, yeah, so take action now. Head on over to join me on the Home Detox Boot Camp today. And once done, be sure to tell your friends and family that you've joined so they can support you on your home detox and also consider joining with you. So I'm really looking forward to having you on board and I can't wait to help you break up with chemicals for good and see you transform your life. Thank you very much for listening tonight. And um, yeah, I just hope, hope I've helped you make some more positive changes in your home. Thanks a lot.